If you are new to restreaming the Yang Qing or to tune the Yang Qing, then this video is for you. Unless you are very familiar with the string numbers on the Yang Qing, otherwise we usually refer to this chart called the Yang Qing string chart or the tuning chart. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to read the Yang Qing string chart. Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Patrick and welcome back to my video channel. If this is your first time watching my video, remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I will be sharing everything you need to know regarding Yang Qing performing arts as well as music tips that will definitely benefit you in your music journey. So stick around! Okay, so now I'm going to briefly go through with you the bridges on the Yang Qing so that you have a better understanding when we are going through the string chart later. So as you can see, this is a 402G model but when we are looking at the string chart, it is going to be a 402 model. So what are the differences? The differences will be these four notes. Okay, 402G models have this four note where the 402 model doesn't have. So a standard 402 model should only have one note over here, one single bridge and the uh, the first bridge over here should start from this note. These four long bridges over here, I name it as bridge 1, bridge 2, bridge 3 and bridge 4. So in short, I call them B1, B2, B3 and B4. So for B1, I'm going to start here. I'm going to count how many mini bridges are there per bridge. So. For B1, there should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There should be 10 of them for B1. So for B2, I'm going to start counting now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So for B2, there are also 10 mini bridges. What about B3? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, for B3, there are 11 mini bridges and the last one, B4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 mini bridges on B4 and the last one over here is 3, 1, 2, 3. Alright, so once you understand how many mini bridges per bridge, so when we proceed to looking at the chart, you will have a better understanding. So now, Let's carry on to looking at the chart. Alright, so let us go through the string charts together. So over here, it means the one mini bridge on the lower side of the Yang Qing. And this represents the four long bridges and this is the one short bridge on the top left side of the Yang Qing. So you know that this is B1, B2, B3 and B4. So what does all these numbers on the left side and right side represent? On the left side, it represents the number of mini bridges per long bridge. So as we have counted earlier, B1 there are 10 of them, B2 10, B3 11 and B4 13 of them. Then on the top there is only 3 of them and over here the lowest one is only 1. Alright, so what does the 16 to 21 means? Okay, these are actually the strings number. You need to know them in order to replace them. So for B1, you will need 16 to 21. The lowest one over here is 15. So B2 started from string number 19 to 23. Then B3 is 21 to 25. And B4 is from string 26 to 30. And the highest string number is 30. So as you can see, the lowest string number is 15 and the highest one is 30. Okay, so what does the hex over here means? The hex 2 actually means there will only be 2 strings per mini bridge. So for number 16 to 21, there will be only 2 strings per bridge. So 19 to 23 is only 2 strings. But as you can see from string 21 over here to string 25, there will be 3 strings per bridge on B3. So B4, so strings number 26 to 28, there will be 4 strings and string 29 to 30, there will be 5 strings. So over here, there will only be 4 strings per bridge. 
So once you understand that, then it will be easy for you to look for the strings that you need to replace. Over here, as you can see, they say that string number 15 to 25 are overspun strings. That means they are like very thick and these are usually for the lowest note, the lower octave. So for string number 26 to number 30, these are the steel strings. Okay, these are all for the higher octaves, the high pitch notes. I hope you have enjoyed the video today. If you have any question regarding the video, remember to leave a message below and let me know. I will do my best to reply you. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.